Yo, salute, salute. Yo, we're gonna talk about um falsely accused for escape from um the county jail along with one of my first fights in jail. Okay, um Oh my god, I'm trying to think back. I wanna say it was in between ninety nine and two thousand. So I'll say 99, 2000, 2001, in between, in between those lines. All right. I was apprehended because of failure to appear in court on a robbery charge. Um, I robbed the old lady. You get what I'm saying? Not proud of it. I was 18. So long story short, um, I made bond and stuff. Of course, you know. You young, you rip and run the streets. You don't forget court. You just don't go. You just be like, fuck it. So you, you pretty much rip and run out here. You pretty much be on the run from the law. Ducking and dodging, looking over your shoulders, all of that shit. So, um, long story short. They apprehended me. You know what I'm saying? They they ran surrounded my house, came in the house and got me. Okay. Yo, yo. So yeah, like I was saying, they um <clears throat> they apprehended me for um failure to appear in court on that robbery charge, right? So they tripled my bond. So I'm in the county jail waiting to go to court and all of that. So months go by, whatever the case may be. So these two other guys that was locked down in another part of the jail or whatever the case may be um got sent to um the dorm that I was in for lockdown cuz we had a um a, we had two empty cells and um you use those two empty cells for lockdown for inmates and stuff like that so they can be from another part of the jail but come inside of your dorm for the being that run, that one room cell and stuff with the doors locked, they can't interact with nobody. So these two guys from the other dorm was in there on lockdown. Um, I don't. It's it's been so long ago. I have to really think back on the details or whatever the case may be. But long story short, um, <clears throat> they. They set um, their mattress on fire inside of their room. So, we on lockdown and stuff. So, me and my dorm is on lockdown. Also, the two guys is already on lockdown from another part of the jail. So, we on lockdown for something that happened. I don't even, I forgot what it was. So, oh my God, when we realized it was smoke and stuff like that. Smoke coming through, coming around the dormitory and stuff. Everybody kicking and screaming and banging for the police to come. So I said, like, it took like 30 minutes or something. I don't know how them other two cats survived in that little one cell because they lit the match. They lit a match in there and they um set their mattress on fire. The green mattress, you can open it up. You get what I'm saying? It's, um, it's, it's, it's about that thick. You get what I'm saying? No, that thick. You get what I'm saying? Like a thin mattress is green. You get what I'm saying? It's padded. Put it like that. So you cut it open or however you get it open. A little bit of cotton styrofoam and shit be in there. So that's how they got the fire started. So long story short, we had to be... Es when they finally did come to our dorm and stuff, they finally escorted us um, one by one to another part of the jail to do count. And get us out of harm's way. You get what I'm saying? So, in the process of us, um, our dorm, which is A, then I think they clear B and stuff too. Because that's right there beside, um, you got A right here, you got B. Then you go around the corner, and C. And then D sits right here. But D is basically for inmates that come back from prison. They still have pending charges here, so they go um, back and forth to court. So they're in those dorms, and D dorm is for the feds too. You know, the federal inmate guys to be held housed in that dorm, 
<clears throat> into the federal um, courts and stuff sent for them. But long story short, so they escorted um, dorm um, dorm A and B. You get what I'm saying? I I can't even remember if they let C out or whatever. But A and B was right there. I was in A. That's where the fire started at. So they finally gets us out. Get <clears throat> excuse me. Gets us out. And um. You know, we waiting in line, they're giving count and stuff, um, in another part of the jail and stuff, so, um, after they get everything situated, the, um, the dorm aired out, the fire took care of or whatever, they let us back in, so, um, I don't know if it was doing that count or the next count that they did once they got everybody back into their right dormitories dormitories and stuff so i don't know if it was that count or the first count that i told you um they gave when we was escorted out of our dorms the first time so in between one of those counts they miscount my name you get what i'm saying so they had me for escaping but in between that time when we was upstairs waiting for the fire to get put out and the rooms get aired out and stuff. The dormitory, like four or five inmates left. You get what I'm saying? Like they escaped. You get what I'm saying? They they took the opportunity and escaped. We was in the part of the jail where if you turn your head, if you are not noticeable, you can go through a, you know, I don't know how they got out. You get what I'm saying? But somehow they got out. You get what I'm saying? Through all the commotion and stuff. Hold for one second, y'all. Yo, yo, I'm back. Yeah, so, um, the guys escaped, right? So, when it was all said and done to let everybody back in their dormitories and stuff like that, they redid a count. So, that's what it was, if I'm not mistaken. They redid another count and realized the other inmates wasn't, um, you know, they wasn't in the area when the name was called uh, several times, so they was already put on the escape uh, mark. You get what I'm saying? For some reason, they skipped my name too. So they had me for escaping. So the whole time, if I'm not mistaken, I was always the type that like, to try to sleep my time away. If I deal with you, I deal with you. Never had problems in jail nor prison. I'm just the type to just like to sleep my time away and shit. I don't want time doing me. You get what I'm saying? So I think I was sleep or whatever the case. That's what it had to be for me not to be standing in place when they doing count. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, I think I was sleep. So I got um awakened to um. A couple of um, fellow inmates and stuff telling me that I'm on the news for escape. Like, what? The local news here is ABC 11. So I get up out the um out the dorm. I mean, out my cell goes in front of the t the TV. I'm watching the news, so they showing the other guys that um, really escape, and they showing me on there too. My picture, my mug shot. I'm like, what? So I hurry up, got on the phone, let my parents know they on some shit. Like, yeah, man, why you escape? We see, we watching on the news now. I'm like, no, I'm in jail the whole time. If I if I escape, I wouldn't be able to be calling you from jail now. You get what I'm saying? I was like, I think they did a miscount and overlooked my name or something. So when it was time for the give, um, the final, um, the final count after the conclusion to the final count. Somehow my name wasn't checked off or something. So after um I let my parents know, I think they either contact the um county jail or either one of the inmates. Yeah, they did that too. They contacted the county jail. Plus the inmates um you know my um bunk mates and shit was like yo go in front of the door. You better hurry up. Get one of the CEOs' attention that's in the guard booth and shit. And let them know, like, hey, man, um, they got me for escaping. But I was in my dorm. I mean, I was in my on my bed. 
and they just miscounted me and stuff. Here I am. I didn't escape. How I'm going to come back, escape, and then come back in. You get what I'm saying? So, long story short, um, we got that straight taken care of. And um, they got me off of the, uh, the escape um, little marker thing they have. So, the two guys that um, actually set the fire and stuff. Oh my God, I blank because you just don't know being trapped, locked behind a door or something, and it's fire and smoke around, and can't nobody hear your screams and cries for help. It's just like being trapped in a car and you going underwater sinking. It's nowhere in the hell you can get saved from that shit. So that's how the, the same feeling I had when they set the fire in the jail. You get what I'm saying? In our dormitory, which was dormitory eight. You get what I'm saying? Um, so when it was all said and done, those guys get goes back to their cell. You get what I'm saying? Which was the single cell that they set on fire before. You get what I'm saying? So, all right. So, um, I don't know. Most likely it was the same day because... A very quick temple. So I think it was the same day, but probably later on or whatever. But I kept walking past their door, like, kind of like flipping, like talking shit. Like, man, y'all motherfuckers damn try to start a fire. Y'all didn't try to start a fire. Y'all started a fire, put everybody else's life in jeopardy. We locked behind doors, banging, can't get out. What if damn the fire people couldn't get to us in time or whatever? So that shit had me blanking on those guys and shit. Even though they couldn't get to me. You get what I'm saying? My anger just couldn't just let me walk around the jail without getting back at these cats. You get what I'm saying? So. The gate, the door pops open. The CO comes to bring them, slide them food inside of their, um, Single room, single cell. Either, either food or water. It was some for him to open up the door. So when he opened up the door, I they was saying they was taunting me and you know saying this shit the whole time. They was behind the door like, yeah, we gonna get you. If we ever come out. So they said, yeah, you talking shit to us, but yeah, when we come, when we come out the door, be prepared. We gonna get you. So I ain't think shit, shit of that shit. So, the CO pops the door open, but not all the way. I don't know if he was slide giving them food or, you know, something to drink or whatever the case is. But all I can remember is them breaking around the CO. It's two of them. They breaking around the CO. I got my shower shoes on. I always been a little guy. 155 pounds, 56 pounds. You get what I'm saying? Fast forward the the past ten years, I've been maintaining anywhere between two hundred and um one seventy five or some shit like that. But back then, oh my God, I was one fifty six. You get what I'm saying? But I was always quick with these. I just didn't have the heart. You get what I'm saying? That's a different story. That don't mean you don't know how to fight. You just don't have the heart to fight. You get what I'm saying? Whatever reason makes fear in you more more than carriage, I don't know. All I can say, I always was able to fight, but never had this or never had that to be like, yo, I'm ready to swing off on somebody. You get what I'm saying? I never had that until later on in life. You get what I'm saying? So, long story short, um, when they broke around the guard, they coming for me like you know I two angry dogs, two angry dogs coming for um somebody. They got some food or something like that. You get what I'm saying? So they charged me. All I can remember is boom, bing, bong, zoom, clung. You get what I'm saying? I'm just swinging, but I'm connected. It ain't no crazy shit. You get what I'm saying? So one of them gets me by the leg, both of my legs. And it gets me. Now, this is the phone. They had two phones right here. You get what I'm saying? All I can remember is they having me against the wall right there. 
one of the guys had both of my legs, so he lifted me up in the air. Other guy swinging up, trying to get me. So as he's swinging up, I'm swinging down, bringing him down, and I'm bringing the one down that's actually um, holding my legs and shit. Boom, bing, boom, boom. You get what I'm saying? So long story short, the CO um, breaks around and um, breaks the shit up, right? Or not really break it up. He gets in the way. So in the midst of him doing that, I guess pepper spray. That is one of the worstest feelings ever. Like, yo, he pepper sprayed me like I was the aggressive. He just going off of what he actually seen, but I was actually protecting myself from two inmates. You get what I'm saying? So, long story short, hold for a second again. Yeah, back to the proceeds. Yeah, so I guess pepper sprayed. And both of my eyes as if I was the aggressive, aggressive, aggressor. But um, y'all got to excuse me for being tongue tied a little bit. You get what I'm saying? But um, yeah, so um, I'm blinded. You get what I'm saying? That shit burning everything. All I can remember, I still got a little bit of vision of sight. I can still see them in in my picture. So I'm still swinging. Woo, woo, bing, gang. I don't even know who I'm hitting or whatever. So, he finally subdued him. So, the whole dorm room for me because I stood on my ground against two guys. Those, These two guys, one of them is really known in the streets for hanging around a group of guys that, you know what I'm saying, allegedly put bodies in the ground. You get what I'm saying? So, by me standing on my ground and shit like that, fighting actually and doing this and that, and actually winning against both of them, the whole dorm, you know, chanting with me on my side. So all I can remember is um, the guard rushing me to um, the little water fountain. You get what I'm saying? Other, all the other inmates on some shit like, yo, just run water on it. Just keep running water on it. Don't rub your shit. Don't rub it. Just keep running water on it. Oh, my God. That shit is like somebody took alcohol and gasoline and just just pull all that shit in your eyes. That's how pepper spray feel. You get what I'm saying? So, um, so after I um, got, did the little water thing, that shit still ain't help, but it calms it down. Oh, my God. I goes back to my bunk and shit and try to lay down or, you know, just... You know what I'm saying? Relax and shit. The whole time, your eyes is burning. Everything you breathe and inhale is pepper. You get what I'm saying? So, all of this is burning in the inside your stomach. All the way to the next day. My eyes were fucked up for like two or three days straight. Pepper spray will really fuck your shit up. You get what I'm saying? So, that's the story of me falsely getting falsely accused for escape and like my first serious fight in the county jail. And I think I was 19. If I'm not mistaken, I think I was 19. So this, this was the year of 2000. Yeah, this was the year of 2000. Yeah. So, I was falsely accused for escaping from the county jail with um, several other inmates. And that was my first fight in the um, county jail. And I stood on my ground and, you know, I did my thing.